Okay, hello, hello, this is Kenneth Moore, and in this video we are going to be talking about solids and solid layers in After Effects. Now these two things sound similar, but there's actually a difference. Now when you go to create a solid layer, all you do is right click, and go to New, and then Solid, and you will notice that this new window pops up. And here you can actually change the dimensions of your solid layer, you can change the name of it, and you can change the color. If you want to make it the same size as your composition, you can click on this button and it will do that. So I'm going to change the color to this goldish color. Press OK. Notice that the name changed here too. Once you change the color, it's going to change the name. OK, good. Then I'm going to press OK. So now we see that a new solid layer has appeared on our timeline. And not only this, in our bin up here, we will see that a solids folder has been created and this is the yellow solid. So I want to make this very clear. This is the yellow solid and this is a yellow solid layer. And if we click on this here, we will see that the layer name comes up. This is a solid layer and this here is telling us the source of the solid layer which is right up here. And we can actually change the layer name. So we can call it yellow solid layer good and what I do to this solid layer down here is not going to affect my solid in this bin up here so if I do this I can do this it's not going to affect this solid up here so if I drag in another solid it would still be the same solid layer that we had created earlier good and if we wanted to change the actual solid source name, we would have to go up here. Press enter. I'm just going to leave the name the same as it is right now. Okay, so let's say we wanted to change the actual color of our solid layer here. Well, we could go up to layer, solid settings, and then this window pops up. And we can actually click on this color here and we can make it a different color. I'm going to make it this greenish, dark greenish color. Notice now that the name has changed again, and not only that, the solid in our bin here has changed as well. It is no longer that yellow solid, but now it is a medium gray turquoise solid. So if I press OK, the old yellow solid is gone, and now we have this medium gray turquoise solid here. And we'll have to change the name here on our layer source, medium gray turquoise solid. Now I want to show you guys something else. Let's say we duplicated this solid and we went again to change the solid settings. And let's say we wanted to make this another color such as like a blue. Okay, good. Now notice that you have this effect here which says affect all layers that use this solid. If we only wanted to change one layer we would leave this unchecked and then our original green layer would remain the same and we would still have it in our bin and we would have a new solid created as well. So I'm going to press new. Notice that a new solid layer has appeared here and we have the new royal blue solid in our bin. In this composition here we've set the composition to have this background color but there's a problem with setting your background like this doing it this way let me show you if you want to bring this composition into a new composition say this one here and I drag the background composition in here you will see that the background is not there anymore also too just as a side note if you export your composition this background composition and you have transparency on you will not have a background if you export an MLV so what is the best way to create a background the best way actually is to create a new solid we'll make it this we'll make it this color here create a new solid make the comp size press OK drag it beneath and if we go to the new composition we will see that we now have a background now some animations actually require a background so if we go to animation let's do deep tissue for example 
Notice that a solid has been created. This animation requires a solid to work. Now you can also use solids as mask and put effects on them. So let's do that. Let's create a new solid. This color here, good. Let's make it a little bit wider, good. Now let's create a mask out of this. So I'm gonna take the rectangle tool, create a mask. And now we're going to put an effect on this. So let's do deep tissue. Notice that it took the solid layer mask and the effect is now in it. So let's just make this a little nicer. Let's feather it out a little bit. And now you have a solid layer mask with an effect on it. So I hope this helped you guys to understand solid layers a little bit better and I will see you on the next one.